The timing of this video couldn't have been any better. Literally, just yesterday, the car that Tolga Trunk of here was initially released with in a 2-pack popped up on eBay in 2017 packaging. Yes, some of the early 2017 releases are already starting to show up on eBay from Chinese sellers in the package. And of course, the car that I'm referring to is Tubbs Pacer with paint spray. Now, unfortunately, since the card package that he was on was international, we didn't see the series title, but it's most likely some sort of London fight series. So, it'll be interesting to see how that series comes to fruition. I might just might make a video about the 2017 series and whatnot, just kind of explaining the stuff that we already know and what I think might happen and then how it will all culminate with Cars 3 in May and June. So I might do that video, may not. I have a lot going on, so we'll just have to wait and see. But for now, we are celebrating Cars Mania 54's birthday. Happy birthday to you. I hope you're having a great day. And if you're watching this a couple days after your birthday because you had this huge celebration, then I hope you had a great time. And maybe you got some cars or planes for your birthday as gifts. Let me know in the comments section below. And now if anyone out there would like to make a birthday request or just a regular suggestion video, you can definitely do so. But make sure that you watch the video in the description below. There's a link to it right at the top. So please watch that video. And of course, the most important rule for birthday requests is that you submit your request at least one month before your birthday. If you don't, then I cannot do your request. I'm sorry, but you really have to remember that so I can actually do your video on your birthday. So that's all for the introduction. Now let's dive right into the review of Tolga here. So obviously, he's part of the whole Lemons organization, the bad guy organization, I guess you can say. And I like to call him one of the bodyguard lemons, and he is obviously a trunk of, hence his last name. So he is basically one of the bodyguards for Vladimir Trunkov. But in the movie, it was kind of like a whole team effort from the Pacers, Gremlins, Trunkovs, and Hugos. So it doesn't really matter what head he was working for, but he is a trunk of. And now the black color just really reminds me of like a tuxedo, not really a tuxedo, but just like a suit that a bodyguard would wear. You guys know those bodyguards that you kind of like typically see in movies. They have the sunglasses on. So that is what Tolga reminds me of. He's not kind of like one of those beat up lemons like Petrov trunk of is here, but they are on the same team. Tolga is just a little bit more hyped up because obviously he most likely attended the party in Porta Corza and now fought on the streets of London against the Radiator Springs Townies. That probably sounded pretty weird if you just saw Cars 1 and not Cars 2 yet. Sorry for the spoiler warning, but I was literally just thinking of that. I would have never thought if I just saw Cars 1 and did not see Cars 2 that the Radiator Springs Townies would fight a bunch of clunker cars in the streets of London, United Kingdom. That just sounds so strange and peculiar, but it happened. And now, like I said, he fought on the streets of London. He really had no one major appearance where he spoke or anything, but he did appear. There were actually a couple black bodyguard trunk of, so you can kind of pinpoint which one you think it is, but I will show a screenshot of the one that I personally think Tolga is supposed to be. Now, he was only released once in 2013, like I said, in a two-pack with Tubbs Pacer with paint spray. It was a great two-pack because both of the cars were actually brand new, never released before, and it was actually really nice to get a variation of Tubbs Pacer because Tubbs was actually first released that year, so it was nice to get the regular version and a variation at the same time. Now, I do want to mention that on one of the 2017 singles case list, 
there's a black trunk of listed. So does that mean that we're going to get a re-release of Tolga Trunka in 2017? I think it is very, very possible because we already have the re-release of Tubbs Pacer with Paint Spray. So it's just natural that they'll re-release his two-pack mate, I guess you could say, in 2017 as well. They're not going to be in a two-pack, so I guess they could be singles. Now, this also can mean that we're getting a different black bodyguard trunk of. It's very possible that that's the case, but Mattel usually is consistent and likes to stick with the cars that they've already released when they can. So I do believe that it will be a re-release of Tolga so that, you know, it's kind of cool. His art is really nice. I, I really think it's kind of like out there. He's like smiling. I mean, he kind of looks like he's, I don't know, just maybe a little bit too excited than he really should be, but don't really know what I'm talking about unless you've seen the art, but I do have a picture so you guys can check that out. But now on to the review of Tolga himself. Enough of this talk and whatnot. I tend to drone on, but it's kind of information I think you guys might be interested in. So here we have Tolga trunk of he's pretty basic you know he is that trunk of model a relatively small car here i'll compare him to mater here is the original 2006 mater and you can see that he's pretty small pretty thin you know just generally a small car but i do believe that's accurate to the real life trunk of car model so you know it's nice that it's accurate at least. Now it does have this one side view mirror right here. I think that's actually accurate and it's not like the other one fell off or anything. I do believe that's how it's supposed to be because all of the other ones have it as well. And I doubt that Vladimir Trunkov, who's the head of the whole family, would have a missing side view mirror. Or yeah, side view mirror because He's the head, so he would have money to afford a replacement. Now, obviously, he's all black. He's got some silver detailing and whatnot. Toward the back here, his license plate reads 19-71. And the writing below, it says SMK. That could mean smack. I don't really know. Just kind of what it reminds me of. And then there is a number code right there that looks like k 16 Two. Not really sure the significance of that, but I believe that's what it says. And here is the base if you are interested. Just some typical codes and the stuff that you normally see on the bases of Disney cars. And that, you know, is really it for Tolga. He's a very basic car. I will compare him to the other trunk of that we've gotten. We've only gotten three, unlike Pacers and gremlins where we've gotten quite a bit more like at least five of each five different characters now don't ask me why the lighting gets so dark when i bring in vladimir trunk up here it's honestly disappointing i'm sorry if this hurts your eyes but i don't really have a way around it so you're going to have to just kind of put up with it for the couple seconds that i show vladimir with tolga here but you guys get the idea they're the exact same model just different colors, same license plate, which is very strange, very weird, but I guess for Mattel, it's pretty common for them to use the same license plate on different cars. As I've expressed before, I'm not a fan, but there's nothing RC Cars 5 myself can do about it. Here is Petrov Trunk of, and now, now the screen gets lighter. I don't understand. My iPhone 6 here, could be a little bit off. I've been using it for a while, so it might be time to get checked out or like, I don't know, maybe get a new phone. But I don't really think I'll be getting a new phone because iPhones are quite expensive. So there's the comparison. Again, same model, different paint jobs. And it really represents the levels of the lemon household. Not really a household, but I guess you can compare that as a metaphor, but you have the head, you have like one of the butlers and then you have like kind of one of the mediocre low servants. I guess you could say, I don't really know. It's kind of comparing it to like old time households. 
So that is really it for Tolga Trunkov. I hope you guys did enjoy this video and let me know in the comment section below two things actually. Do you think that Tolga Trunkov will actually be released in 2017 due to the information that I presented to you? And do you want more of these bodyguard lemons? We only have two, surprisingly, Alexander Hugo with Party Hat and Tolga Trunkov. So it'd definitely be nice, at least in my opinion, to get some more. And that's all. Hope you enjoyed. Hope this video lived up to what you'd hoped it'd be Cars Mania 54. And of course, happy birthday to you. I would sing, but that would just be kind of awkward and I'm not the best at singing as you guys probably found out when I sang Go Cubs Go. I listened over to that and I was like, that was not that good. I'm kind of embarrassed, but no one pointed out, so thank you. Thanks for kind of maintaining my self-esteem there. So thank you guys again for watching, and you guys can enjoy my little London fight scene I set up back there. We're actually getting one of these, Union Jack Ramones with a paint gun, so you can really recreate the scene when he sprays Tubbs Pacer there. So it'll be great. 2017 looks like a great year. Cars 3 trailers should be really soon. My prediction for the date could either be this Thursday or next Wednesday or Tuesday when Moana drops in theaters. So I'll see you guys next time for another video. Bye now.